Today, we're going to be playing with this. The Millennium Falcon. This is the uh, XL version of the uh, Air Hogs. Remote control, quadcopter, Millennium Falcon. This was given to me by a friend. The store where my friend bought this is called Dirt Cheap. And they sell discontinued items or return items. And they had this one for less than $10. So it came just like this in, uh, in this in this box. The original price is here is $2.99. Um, like I said, they got it for less than $10. And it did not come with a remote control. So I'm going to be trying to salvage some of these uh, uh, old quadcopters that I have and make it work again. In theory, I should be able to wire the uh, black control board into the motors. If you look at them, it's uh, very similar as far as the uh, arms and propellers. The motors, um, I would say that are probably the same kind. And as far as voltage, it should be the same, the battery that's in there. And we'll, we'll find out once I open it up. But like I said, in theory, we should be able to take a control, uh, flight control board for one of these and replace it and it should uh, work. Originally the remote came with sounds and stuff and uh, we're not going to have that with uh, this modification. We'll check it out, we'll open it up. I'll try to be very careful so we can assemble it back to how it was originally uh, set up. But uh, we'll see. Let's open it up. I will try using an X-Acto knife to get into this thing. I'm going to cut around this circle here because if I'm not mistaken originally this was a separate piece and you can see some of the glue left over from when they put it, assembled it, uh, put it together and assembled it. So we'll, uh, we'll try and see. And we're in. At first glance here, looks like we didn't damage any wires. These are the uh, wires for the charging port and the uh, switch for turning it on and off. So now we're inside and I have already removed the screws that mount the flight control board. And you can see here there's four connectors, actually five. And these are for the LEDs for the front and, and back and inside the cockpit. And these here would be the wires for the motors. Like I said, it's very similar setup. I assume that it's gonna be the same voltage for the battery. Unfortunately, you have to do some soldering uh, and desoldering. So I'll be desoldering these and I haven't decided whether I'm gonna keep the same battery or not. All right, here we have the insides. I removed all the motors, desoldered them, and I'm gonna use my own battery. As I predicted, this was a two cell battery, similar to this one here. A thousand milliamps, and this is uh, 1200 milliamps. So, should be pretty, pretty close. So here we have the original brains from the Millennium Falcon. And I have the brains from my uh, other drone. All I have to do now is wire these motor uh, wires into the motors. 
and I will test them as I go make sure they're spinning in the right direction so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and get started Okay, so we solder the first motor. We're gonna make sure the polarity is right. Let's see. It should spin this way. Whoa. Alright, so we have power. It's going the opposite way though. So we just gotta invert the uh, polarity on those wires. All right, so the board is now somewhat leveled. Let's put the battery in. Hopefully this. Oh, fingers Okay, so remember how I said that these motors spin the same way and this spin the opposite way? And that's what determines whether how to turn left and right. Well, I did mention that these are spinning outwards instead of inwards. Same here, spinning this way instead of this way. As they normally do, and as they do in the original drone. Well, oh, apparently that matters. And when I try to turn left, it goes the opposite way, and vice versa. So that's a major setback. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. It flies, I mean, sort of. So this is day three and I have not made much uh, progress. I've been able to wire in the new board but it appears that either this one or both motors are not working properly they won't take off the ground and that's because there's not enough thrust being put in these front ones since there is no thrust coming from the front motors it will stay level and being that there's not enough thrust there's not enough lift so it will just stay on on the ground i'm gonna have to sacrifice the working motors from this one so i'll just take these out and swap them out and uh, see what happens. Well, it's 
not the same size motor. You would have thought I would check that first. I didn't. 